فالو وٹ ایور ہیز بین ریویل ٹو یو فرام یور لارڈ لا الہ الا ہاؤ مینی ٹائمز اٹ از بین ریپیٹڈ لا الہ الا لا الہ الا دس از توحید دیر از نو گاڈ ایکسیپٹ ہم وار از دل مشرقی جسٹ ٹرن اوے یور فیسز فرام دیز پیپل دی ایسوسیٹرز آف سم تھنگ اور سم ون ود اللہ ولاؤ شاہ اللہ معاشرکو ہے اللہ ہیڈ اللہ ڈسائڈیڈ اینڈ ول دے کوڈن ڈو اینی شرک وٹ ایور سن سم بڑی از از کمیٹنگ ہیئر ان دس ورلڈ اٹ از بیکاز اللہ سبان و تعالیٰ ہیز گیون اس دی فریڈم آف چوائس اف یو وانٹیڈ ٹو پر فورس برنگ اس ٹو دی رائٹ پاتھ ہو کڈ گو ٹو دی رانگ پاتھ دین سو دس از بیکاز فار ٹیسٹنگ خلق الموت والحیات علی یبل و کم یکم احسن و عملا دس لائف وچ وی ہیو گیون یو ان دس ورلڈ اٹ از اے ٹیسٹنگ پیریڈ قلزم ہستی سے تو ابھرا ہے مانند حباب اس نیا خانے میں تیرا امتحان ہے زندگی اینڈ فار دس امتحان فار دس ابتلا فار دس ٹرائل فار دس ٹیسٹنگ اللہ سبحان و تعالیٰ از گیون اس دی چوائس یو کین گو دس وے یو کین گو دس وے اما شا کرا میں اما کا پورا اف یو وانٹ ٹو بیہیو ایز گریٹ فل ٹو ایس اوکے اف یو وانٹ ٹو ٹو بیہیو ایز تھینک لیس پرسن اوکے گو ہیڈ If he had decided not to let you go that way, you couldn't go. وَمَا جَعَلْنَاكَ عَلَيْهِمْ حَفِيزًا And we have not appointed you, O Muhammad, as their keeper or as their guardian. وَمَا أَنْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ بِوَكِيلٍ And you are not responsible about them. You are responsible only for conveying to them the message of Allah. Preaching to them the revelations that are coming to you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The rest of the responsibility lies on their own shoulders. ولا تسب الذين يدعون من دون الله فيسب الله عدوا بغير علم and don't abuse and call bad, bad names to those deities whom they are calling or worshiping except Allah although they are false but you shouldn't call bad names to them you shouldn't abuse them because then what will happen these you know ignorant people فيسب الله عدوا بغير علم they will in retaliation abuse Allah and they will use bad names for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this they will do without any knowledge kazalika zayyanna li kulli ummatin amalahum in this way we have made the actions and deeds of every community seem beautiful to them their own religion their own dogmas they they seem very good to them so if you just you know annoy them and if you abuse their gods and goddesses false goddesses although they are and they have no reality but then they will react and retaliate and they might abuse allah summa ila rabbihim marji'uhum then to god to allah to their lord is their return fa yunabbihuhum bima kanu ya'malun then he will inform them of what they were doing wa aqsamu billah jahada imanih now this is the point that we discussed last night in detail And they swear by Allah the most earnest oaths. Lain jat wa ayatun. If some miracle comes to us, if Muhammad can show us a clear miracle, visible miracle, palpable miracle, la yu menun nabeha, they will definitely believe in it. Then they will accept Muhammad Sallallahu as Prophet of Allah. Qul inna malayat wa inna Allah. Tell them all the miracles and signs are with Allah. In, in his command only. It is his power. Now the address is turning towards the Muslims. I told you that it might have been that some of the Muslims might have thought that what's the harm if they are, if they are demanding a miracle? If a miracle is shown, maybe some of them, you know, come to believe. Or at least they will have to shut their mouths. Then you know their argument will be finished. But here Allah is saying, وَمَا يُشْعِرُكُمْ You don't know, O Muslims, أَنَّهَا إِذَا جَاتْ لَا يُمِنُونَ That even if those miracles are shown and they have come to them, they will never believe. Because that is not the real reason of their unbelieving. They know from their hearts, from the bottom of their heart, that that this Quran is from Allah. It cannot be composed by any human being. When thrice, rather four times the challenge has been thrown to them, In, in these surahs, in surah Yunus, in surah Hud, in surah Bani Israel, and then for the fourth time in surah Al-Baqarah. وَإِن كُنْتُمْ فِي رَيْبِ مِمَّا نَزَّلْنَا عَلَىٰ عَبْدِنَا فَاتُوا بِسُورَةٍ مِمْ مِسْلِ 
and they could never dare to meet this challenge. So actually they know it by heart that this is from Allah but they don't want to accept it. Why? Then you know their position, they lose their positions. Their vested interest is gone. Then they will have to obey Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This subordination that is not acceptable to them. وَمَا يُشْعِرُكُمْ And you can't, you don't know it. What thing will make you know? أَنَّهَا إِذَا جَاتْ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ When those all signs, even if they come to them, they are not going to believe. وَنُقَلِّبُ أَفْفِدَتَهُمْ وَأَبْسَارَهُمْ كَمَا لَمْ يُؤْمِنُوا بِهِ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً and we have overturned or we shall overturn their hearts and their sights as they didn't believe for the first time this is a very basic philosophical ayah of the quran you know when some truth dawns on you and your heart testifies this is true if you accept it's okay if you don't accept you reject what out of arrogance Knowing that this is true, this is correct. As I told you, it happens to us many times. We are in an argument, we are arguing among ourselves. And during the course of argument, I feel that the point of view that he is presenting is correct. But if I accept, it means I am defeated. He is victorious, but I am not ready. And then I start arguing and arguing, going to the left, to the right. Although my heart is telling, no, you are doing wrong. So actually Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying when the truth dawns upon you, you jump at it. If you reject it, then you know the capability, the faculty of recognizing the truth will be taken away from you. This is what we call disuse atrophy in physiology. You know these eyes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us to see. If you tie them up, cover them up, for about two, three months, the sight will be gone. Because you are not using it. This joint is to move. You put a plaster to the joint. After a few months, this capability of movement will go. It will be just frozen. If you don't use anything which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you, then the capability of that thing is withdrawn by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given human beings the capacity and the capability to recognize truth. This is true. Now if you accept it instantaneously, it's good for you. Your capacity of recognizing truth will increase. But if you decide to reject what your heart has told you it is correct, then this, you know, faculty, this capability is withdrawn from you. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we shall overturn their hearts and their sights. Because of that, that they didn't believe in it for the first time when the truth has dawned on him. And actually this process reaches its, its climax. A man reaches the point of no return now. That is what Allah calls, we have put a seal on their heart. Now he cannot reach. He cannot go back. Because he has reached the point of no return. And we shall leave them in their rebellion, advancing blindly. Go now. Go as far as you can go. You want to go. We have put a seal on your heart now. You are free to advance in these evils and all these things as far as you like. Now because they were demanding miracles, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just as he had told the Muslim, Now this thing is explained in this next ayah. Had we sent upon them the angels, or even the dead people, would have come out from their graves and talked to them. Believe in Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He is, he is a true messenger of Allah. And even if we had gathered before them all the things face to face, they couldn't believe except if Allah permitted. 
Now because they had gone to that extent of no return, Allah is not permitting them. They will never be permitted now. The seal had been put on their hearts. And curtains have been, you know, thrown before their eyes. We have it in the very first section of Surah Al-Baqarah. In the Lazina Kafaru Sawauna Dahim Anzartahum Ablam Tundirum La Yubinun Khatam Allah Wala Khulubim Wala Samahim Wala Sarim Bishawa Wala Wadabun Azi. Now they have gone beyond that point. They have, they have crossed the point of no limit. So now all the miracles, even what they demand, if they are shown to them, they are not going to, even, to, to believe. Most of them, you know, they are following their passions and emotions. 